All right, everybody, welcome to Activision Presents Zork Nemesis. It's Let's Play Zork Nemesis with the Mysterious JG, your host in this probably darkest uh, of Zork adventures. Last time we were actually hanging around in the Frigid River Conservatory, but um, off screen I got myself back to this room because we're leaving the Frigid River Conservatory incomplete so that we can come back and complete it last since as I mentioned before the very last of these quests that we complete we're not going to get the little ending sequence for that quest we'll go straight to the next bit of game much as when we did those much shorter little puzzles uh, one for each element that were all in this uh, elemental temple area here we got a little speech from whoever the appropriate um, uh, blank another word alchemist was but whoever we got last we don't get their speech it goes straight to something with all four alchemists something very similar is going to happen after we complete each of these little quests well longer quests so we're leaving uh, Madam Sophia Hamilton's uh, Frigid River uh, Conservatory unfinished so that we're only a few clicks away from finishing it and we are now going to move on to Iron Dune Castle, which is the home of Sir Thaddeus Cain. We learned a few things about Thaddeus Cain while playing through the conservatory, mostly that he's the leader of troops. Um, also, he was having an he is a married man, but he was having an affair with Lady Hamilton, uh, Madam Hamilton, and his son, Lucius Cain, was in love with. What is her name? Alexandria Fox, I think, was her name. Uh, yeah, Alexandria Fox, or some kind of animal word. Yeah, Lucius Cain was in love with Alexandria, and uh, Lady Hamilton was trying to talk Alexandria out of screwing up her career and her future by getting involved with this young so-and-so. We don't very know very much else about him, but I imagine we'll learn a little bit more about Lucius and Thaddeus Kane as we explore the Fortress Iron Dune. Which we'll do as soon as I highlight the right freaking planet. That's not it. I don't think that's it. I think that's it. If it's not, I'm going to have to come back because I figured out the puzzles for this area off camera and I'm not prepared to do one of the others. But this is the right place. Is there a military fortress amongst the sands? A key position in some kind of desert war? Much like where I am right now. It's the castle Iron Dune. Seems like it's probably going to be a real nice, friendly sort of place. Now we look around. Now we turn around. Brad out. Some, 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 some. Sorry. Um, pull this thing. We drop down through this tower and we emerge in presumably the keep of the Castle Iron Dune, if it even has a keep. It's all kind of keepy. Stairs going up, leading that way, stairs going down. Let's come into the main room. There's a cannon, because this is a military keep after all. Let's examine this door. Good Lord, who are you? Never mind. Stay inside. The hordes nearly broke through. Orcs? Castle's deserted. I'm the only one left. But I won't desert General Kane. <laughs> Not this bloke. What are you grinning at, eh? Probably the fact that Kane's dead. The old inexplicably Scottish fool. Yeah, so the orcs, uh, the horde is attacking. I don't know if that includes orcs, trolls, possibly uh, torrens. You can't leave now. You'll be pilloried. I'll lock you in the stockade if I have to. What good is that gonna do me? Get away from the door, you dumb hungus. 
Is he even Scottish? Am I making that up? He called us a hungus, though. That's nice. Stay inside. I'm not much, but I'm the only chance you've got. I'm pretty sure after this they start repeating. Yeah, he called us a hungus, which I was about to call a throwback to Grand Inquisitor, but of course this game actually came before Grand Inquisitor, so... Never mind. There's some really nice and interesting little, like, just background art in this game that doesn't mean anything. It just kind of lends the place a... Kind of makes the place feel a little bit more alive, considering Three-Eyed Cat. That would be, I believe, Lord Dimwit Flathead. Possibly it's supposed to be Duncan Thrax. He was a figure from Zork history. Suit of armor. Didn't notice this until I um, before, but I uh, had to check the hint book to find out what to do. With. There's an item you have to stick in there. I didn't even see that was there. Can we stick the album in there? Because unfortunately, we still have this album in our inventory, which means we'll have to cycle through it for the rest of the game. But this you can mess with. Let's until we know what we're doing. Let's leave it down. And we do not seem to be able to interact with that. I, that appears to be a door. Possibly it's just a chunk of floor for us. Here's another suit of armor. More of a conquistador type with ruffles. The ruffles have ridges. It does not have a scabbard, but it does have... Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, it does have a helmet that you can... Um, or visor, rather, that could be either up or down. Uh, I guess we'll come in here next. I don't think I'm doing it in quite the order that I did it in before. There is the scabbard of a sword. Is that the right word, scabbard? That looks like a cannon. Hey, we can mess with the dog's butt. The dog's got bones inside of it now. And, uh, messing with its tail doesn't do anything, but it very much looks like a cannon to me. There's a piano. Oh, there's a piano. having upsetting flashbacks to the conservatory, but no, we don't have to do anything with that piano. Here is one of the big things that I... I needed a hint book to figure out, uh, walk through online. It's very embarrassing. I kept grabbing this, and I kept sticking the scabbard onto this, and then I figured, oh, well, I guess maybe later on you can light the fireplace and kind of melt the metal and reforge it or something. No. This is a separate clickable thing. That's all there is to it. Didn't realize the far left is a separate line. Oh, Take it. Wow. You should be with me. Papa and son don't really get along. You belong by my side. Children draw pictures. Men fight. I want to do my sketch work, Daddy. Mm. If you didn't sleep with the Archbishop's daughter, I wouldn't even know that you were a man. Ooh. I don't want you to talk about her. Who? Your whore? Maybe I'll try her myself. Finish. I said... Finish it! You know, suddenly I miss my dad. And the guts and the cradle and the silver spoon. Little poor blue and the man in the moon. When you're coming home, daddy don't know when. But we'll get together then, son. No, have a good time then. Dad, I hate you. I know, I know. 
god, you're such a pussy Titus. What the hell does Eunice see in you? It's alright, different game. Now, um... Yeah, so, okay, our first little glimpse of the home life of the Canes is... The dad is like a homicidal maniac, and he pushes his artist son to the breaking point. Good to know. Now, uh... It all seems relatively straightforward when you know the answer, but I just didn't notice that you could put the sword back together because I didn't notice that it had two different clickable bits. And I uh, did, however, this time, seem to pick up on the scabbard here. Clank, 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 creak. So that's an important puzzle that you solve. And it opens up this thing come in here and I, I was I spent quite a while wandering around solving puzzles and stuff in other rooms and never noticed the whole thing with that scabbard the age of powder the age of archery the age of and that says barbarity samurai armor Starring John Belushi. The Age of the Future. You've got, like, whatever the hell that stuff is. The Age of something else, probably. The Age of Cain. This one's been broken into. Thadium particles detected. Fatality predicted in 45 seconds. Let's not mess with that right now. Not until we have a reason to. <laughs> so we have here pictures of suits of armor. And as you can see in the pictures, some of them clearly have visors up, some of them clearly have visors down. So let's, uh, let's try to remember this. Guy with a sash, visor down. Samurai, visor down. Conquistador, visor up. Roman centurion looking dude, or Greek cockfighter, just dude with a shield. Visor up. Kind of generic-y dark knight looking dude, who has a sword, and it's probably the one outside this room. Visor down. So the easiest thing to remember is the two visor ups are going to be the Conquistador and the Greek. So... Yeah, okay. Your visor is down, and it can stay that way. Although I'm curious what it looks like up. Aren't we glad we saw that? Your visor can stay down. Because it's only the white people who show their faces. Conquistadors and... Um... Hoplites. So your visor can stay down. And there was a guy... I don't... I remember, um... This was not a puzzle I had trouble with years ago. When we, I think we knew that something was going on with those uh, suits of armor, and then it took a while before we got to the point where we actually went into that room. Once we went into the room, we're like, oh, okay, you just gotta make sure that they line up the same. So we'll lift his up. And somewhere we have to find a Greek hoplite looking dude and the guy with the sash. Let's head up the stairs. Let's walk upstairs alone or in pairs. Oh, here's a guy with the sash. His thing needs to be down. And you notice they carefully set it up, so there's at least one. There's, I think there's only one that's in the correct position when you first find it. Um, yeah, so if you just go changing each one individually, you're not going to win the puzzle. So at least one of them starts out in the right position. Otherwise, it would just, you could solve it without ever figuring out what you're supposed to do. Now this... Ugh, irritating to me. It seems like you're supposed to be pixel hunting, finding something to read. No, there's nothing to this at all, really. You, unless, maybe, there's a small chance you're supposed to do something that I can't see the edge of the screen because of... I can't touch the edge of the screen because of um, pan relief, but I don't think so. You got the administrative... Ad, administribus frobites by Osmar. So, um, our, I can't really read any of these. Walker's Guide to Rocks and Minerals, The Construction of the Empire. I don't know if there's supposed to be a clue in any of that. There's nothing going on over here that I can recall. 
We keep going. There is a chest. So we need to find a key or something. There is... Oh, it's too bad we can't see that picture. It looked kind of interesting from a distance. <laughs> Lady Sophia Hamilton's picture, completely covering up Lucius Kane's picture. And uh, nowhere visible is a picture of Kane's wife. I'm assuming this is Kane's... Um, what is his name? The Elder Kane. It's Kane the Elder. This is... I don't remember his name. I'm flipping through the manual now. Thaddeus. I was thinking Thaddeus. This is Thaddeus Kane's bedroom. Must be because he's got a picture of Lady Hamilton, his mistress, in here. So uh, Lady Hamilton wears a you know eye patch with a Playboy logo on it because she's mistress. So here's a book. Five Oracle. I don't know what to make of Lucian's odd behavior. Painting pictures of naked women and then hiding them on his own easel. He's becoming a man with a man's free will. But what of my missing gunpowder and supplies? Am I to tolerate insurrection in the name of my son's independence? It seems as if he wants nothing better than to irritate me. Much more of this, and I will be forced to send him to his mother in Antharia. Antharia Jack is his mother. That's what I'm saying. That's clearly what we're meant to glean from this. His mother is Antharia Jack. Um... Dear Cain, I have dwelt on the pure... Oh. Dear Cain, I have long dwelt on the power of air, but not considered it as a source of purification. As such velocities as your blueprints describe, I feel sure it would tear impurities from even the very core of evil. I am certain none but the purest metal could withstand it. Destruction or purity, a perfect solution. Still, I have some misgivings. Before air, your plan suggests the simultaneous combination of forces of fire, water, and earth. This must be necess this must necessarily be an explosive combination, but not an impossible problem. I have long experimented with injection molding for molding for limb replacement. As long as the mold is inserted into the case, holding before applying heat, my experiments have been successful. Sartorius. Huh, I don't think I noticed this one before. And I'm certain none but the purest metal could withstand it. Destruction of purities. Because the one thing that I played this off screen, the one thing that I didn't manage to do successfully, was the very last puzzle in all this, was the... Um, the joy of encryption. I didn't manage to do the thing where you actually, uh, the alchemy, alchemy puzzle at the end. I screwed that up and then just loaded because I knew it was the very last thing to get right. The joy of encryption! Everyone forgets a code now and then. The best secret is a secret you don't have to hide. Commissioner Protecting Lord Dimwood from the riotous residents of the Frigid River Valley who exposed the giant statue to of his Royal Highness was constructing at the expense of their neighborhood. Flathead's men were told to memori memorize the last line of the popular Zorkian anthem, You Ain't Nothing But a Hellhound. This signal would distinguish Flathead's undercover men from the local marauders. But everyone forgets the code now and then. And when it came right to the sword point, who knows what? Who knows the line, the last line of that song anyway? With his men stammering, You Ain't Nothing But a Hellhound, which is the first line, rather than You Ain't No Friend of Mine, which is indeed the last, Lord Dimmitt lost 3,000 of his best men and vowed to make Elvis Flathead required listening for his troops in the future. In a battle between math mathematics and magic, magic will always have the upper hand. In the course of Vice Regent Sayovar's campaign against the powerful Enchanter's Guild, Sayovar's spies would attempt to send encrypted reports back to the Castle of Zor, going to find that the word numbers would reunite themselves before the very eyes of the codebreakers, forming nonsensical non sequiturs such as thaumaturgy is a walk on a slippery walk, and religionists smile on a yipple. Sayovar then implemented the Zenigma mecha mechanical encryption device, replacing the more fallible mathematic and mnemonic systems with pulsing electricity. Clearly, where wizards are concerned, the best secret is a secret you don't have to hide. Encryption is a game. Uh, that's, a, that's a bit of a clue, too would be that by doing a rudimentary exchange of the numerical base conversions of the corresponding characters, one could establish an initial translational table of values. Applying this method, we can reconstruct the first message fragment to be while the sun is between the second and third quarter. However, the creators of this scheme predicted such an obvious decryption approach and took the measurements to ensure that any such attempt would not only fail to produce the real message, but through careful wording by the encrypting party would result in a convincingly realistic false message, occasionally humorous and often disastrous results. Cryptologists have long considered their science to be more entertainment than work. 
It is none the less so in Zork, and with with its peculiar Quendorian fondness for the odd puzzle and Palimpsest. Enchanter. Correct. In the Enchanter's Crypt is a game of magical way of life. Have you ever had the experience of a furious Enchanter rushing at you as you leave the market screaming at the top of his lungs, Zuka, Zuka, Zoo, only to stop dead in his tracks, unable to remember if he is casting a spell or a, that will bless you with a sharp hearing for the remainder of your natural life or turn your recently purchased eggs into an overripe cabbage? Odds are he's attended a top therm thaumaturgical college. Sorry. Been given a book with a few decent, fairly powerful spells and spent a good deal of time trying to memorize all the Trinity New Inc. Carnations. But let's face it, if those magic words weren't encrypted, he'd be out of a job. Alright. For some reason, I didn't read that, but I did read this before. Or looked at the photos. There is Lucius Kane's wife. There's Lucius Kane with his wife and the infant Thaddeus. Temperature. Now, see, this is actually important. Temperature at which you attempt to cast the metal. Casting at too cool of a temperature is useless. Casting with too intense of heat can have fatal results, of which proof is my recently destroyed laboratory in Fenshire. General granted knighthood. General Thaddeus Kane of Desert of the Desert River Province granted knighthood. Mumberber 7, 923, Free Press Corps. That is Kane of Desert River Province, famous for his battles against the barbarian hordes, was granted knighthood today. An elaborate ceremony at Sayavar's palatial estate in Aragame. Sayavar anointed Thaddeus Kane to the applause of various well wishers, including Sophia Hamilton of the Desert River Branch Conservatory and Francois Malveau, noted author of the Brogmoid f- Fallacies. In the name of the rightful and unified kingdom of Zork, so I have our thank General Kane for his struggle to defeat the barbarian trollish hordes that have been recently threatening the kingdom. Hey, they're just trolls. Or orcs. That is Kane. Kane and Elrond. Dispute turns to war. Generals. That is Kane. The ever increasing tensions between Lord Elrond, the uh, elf guy, and Sir General Kane reached their height yesterday evening when Lord Elrond declared war on General Kane. His personal war. The two of them are just going to to have a boxing match. The fight has become even more critical because of Kane's rumored creation of Thadium, the lethal is irradiated ore. Elrond, now aligned with the powerful and political Enchanters Guild of the Westlands, has been rumored to have purchased a lethal scroll from Wizard Bilbaz. The results of this never-ending feud should have a major impact on Saivar and whether his empire is able to expand to unite the Zork land, the entire Zork lands. Though I don't think you can turn the page any further, but I would love... A little bit more clues on... Ah, I didn't see this before. This is probably what actually tells you how to do that last puzzle. The new book, The New Blood Alchemist, Reaching Beyond the Fifth Essence. Vain pufferers who spend too much time at the bellows, seeking in our sacred science a slight banker's craft, sifting through vile ashes, fool's gold in their fing- in thy fingers. What thou keepeth, what thou reapeth keepeth for thine inheritance shall be noxious fumes, and burn blacker than thy hearts. This swindling sophistry belongs not to a one great work, but to one false implementer. All Zork will cheer thy, thy ruin. True alchemy careth not for the gold of this small place. He that hath everything needeth nothing. When the air and the terra, the aqua and the ignis, molten with their metals, and the one element that maketh them whole, with a fifth element, you mean love, then what is wrong shall be made right, what is unknown become known, what is lost shall be found, for this is the corpus glorific- glorific- glorificationis, the corpus glorificationis, the elixir of life, life, the end to all, the anti-life equation. The four elements, the four horsemen, uh, Rick Flair, Arn Anderson, Ole Anderson, and uh, <laughs> whoever, Tully Blanchard, correspond to the four humors. The fire is the yellow bile, cholera. The air is the blood, sanguis. Water is the phlegm. Didn't I talk about this in the last video, or like a couple of videos ago, and how they weren't going with this, but it was similar? No, here it is. The water is the phlegm, pituita, and the earth is the black bile, melancholia. Of these four humors, we know blood reigns as the element primordial. The blood of man is a reservoir of nourishment both spiritual and substantial, and it is the work of the blood to meet such nourishments from head to heart, quickening the dead bones quickening, and raising the vile body to the sphere of the immortal soul. In the purification of the blood lies the purification of all things. In the worth of the blood lies the worth of all things. It is the, in the cause of the blood is the cause paid 
cast paid for all things cost paid. There is only one this way and none the other. The blood of the fifth, uh, on this blood of the fifth element. Yeah, okay. That didn't actually tell us anything useful. It gave us some neat de background -y detail, but. Order more nitro. <laughs> He's ordering more nitro. He wants WCW to come back. Five brave fellows stand guard over my dungeon. Three are blind, two can see, but as a whole, they form the key. Just a clue if we hadn't already figured it out that you have to do something with um, the visors and the suits of armor. Nitro! <laughs> Sorry. Um... Or it could be like the American Gladiator Nitro. My sister bought me uh, the, bi the autobiography of Nitro kind of as a gag gift, thinking that I might get a kick out of it. And I was like, it's about this guy's struggle with like steroid addiction and trying to clean up his life. I don't really want to laugh at him. Mm, let me think here. Okay, and your pathetic attempts to harness the lethal magic of Thadium were futile. The guild is now supporting my cause, and we have something far more powerful than Thadium. In five years, your precious Iron Dune will be nothing more than dust, blowing in a wasteland, and your men as weak and womanish as your own Lucian, Elrond. What is with the men in this game referring to things as being weak and womanish? It's, I don't know. It's, this, um, these guys really need like a strong, independent woman to kick them in the nuts, and then... I'm every woman, they're all going to be able to start playing over an intercom. It'll be great. In five years, your precious Iron Dune will be little nothing more than dust. You know, I have it in my power to turn you into anything, even a rock. Would you like to be a stone? Would that make you happy? I horribly misquoted what I'm trying to reference, but... Arch 7, 925, General Kane, I have been made aware of the presence of Thadium in poor your vicinity and of a particular invention which may assist me in my battles. Whatever you require to fund your experiment, I will gladly provide. Sire Bar, Vice Regent and General of the Royal Quendorian Army. The Enchanter's Guild has formed a coalition that I am losing, and I am losing control of the Westlands. Lord Elrond is under their control. I can no longer rely on the magic of the scroll. Sire Bar. Captain, I am missing 20 sacks of gunpowder. How can I defeat my enemies abroad when Iron Dude itself is not secure? Look into it, Kane. Alright. I'm going to save the game here. Uh, really, only because I'm not sure how much time this video has already gone, and I want to make sure that I don't go too far over 30 minutes. Uh, I got another couple minutes, not much time. I can give it another three minutes. All right, let's jump back in, finish with this room anyway. I'm being real careful on recording only 30 minutes at a time on this LP because I've had relatively bad luck with these videos not getting eaten by Camtasia. Camp Studio. Whatever the hell I'm using. I don't think it's anything to do with this program. I think I've just had a bit of bad luck. At any rate... This is one that should have occurred to me very easily, but didn't. Just use the nitro to blow off the lock. I, I would have figured it was too explosive. Now you got your map of the Eastlands. This is also found in the manual. And you have... Breaking the Siege of Iron Dune. Okay. Could build bridges with enemy distracted. Split troops decoy, infiltrate through hills to breach lines, Elrond's cannons, Iron Dune. Destroy cannons and Elrond will fall. This is actually an important clue. It won't make that much sense to us till later. But the plan to break the siege of Iron Dune is to build a bridge, split the troops. I think we have to cause a, cause a decoy with the powder, where is the starting point for this? At any rate, we're building a bri we're, de we're causing a, a, a decoy distraction, splitting the troops, building a bridge, 
infiltrating the enemy. General, I have found some items pertinent to your collection. The most remarkable weapons of assassination. A sword that masks a snake and a clever cannon disguised as a cat. It's clearly disguised as a dog. We saw it. Lord Flatted himself commissioned the menagerie of arms to show that his compassion for animals runs as deep as his nature is violent. I will arrange a showing at your convenience. Sincerely, M.K. Frobsworth. Sorry. Dearest Thaddeus, I lie here in my bed and listen to the Pootics? Pootics, and I miss you. Damn Elron, I know you are fighting for what you believe in. I hate him for what he's done to you, and I hate him even more for keeping you from me. But still there are those I hate more. I'm so jealous, Thaddeus. You can pick up a sword and gore your enemy in the name of all you love. My enemy is bosomy and soft-spoken, and she wears a dress and sleeps in your bed, my heart. Would that I could be your wife, that we could have a family, something more than the stolen moments, this lost life of mine. I cling to our dear mad doctor and his dreams of oblivion. For an eternity with you I will endure all his pretentious alchemical trumpetings, and fifty Lady Canes, and a hundred Elrons, as ever, Sophia. Cain, I read about Elrond and his alliance with the Enchantress Guild, and I wept for you. These are dangerous times, and I will not sleep until all those who mean you harm are put to eternal rest. But I take heart knowing that we will deciphering more secrets of this magical science with each new day. Soon, love, we will not worry about power. Darling Thaddeus, crush the barbarian hordes, and even the grand sire of ours seems content. Congratulations on your recent victories, but take heed upon your return. The battle is far from over. In your absence, Elrond has discovered a powerful scroll, and I am scared. We are deep into the great work. If they learn of our secrets, the Enchanter's Guild and others will surely kill us, Sophia. So they got, like, secrets and shit. It's good to know. And, um... Uh yeah. Okay. Alright, so... I was gonna finish that room and then move along. It's a game room. I'll go in there in a minute. This is the last of the knights. And I think he needed to have his up. Creak! Yep, so it would appear... That we found the last of the knights, we've arranged them the way that they're supposed to be arranged, and we probably opened a door or something. Uh, I guess we'll find out in the next video. But right now, I'm calling it a video because we're at the 30-minute mark. When we come back, we're going to continue with our quests uh, to find the secrets of the Castle Iron Dune, which should include pure lead as part of some kind of alchemical crazy thing. This is just a geo and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.